What's up guys, Stock Sniper Mike here, and I'm here to give you guys CPSL trade review. Now this is a great one because we were able to make 25% in 30 minutes. 25% in 30 minutes. Yes, that's about a percent a minute. So not a lot of time to make a lot of money. Now today we're gonna go over OTC penny stock CPSL and this is literally a penny stock. But one of the key things I want you to realize before we dive into this trade is we always have a risk limit. There's always a risk set whenever we get into these stocks and we always have a plan. So a lot of people think penny stocks are risky, but when you create a plan and you make sure the stocks you get into have the right criteria, this game is not as risky as people put it out to be. So take CPSL for example. At 3 p.m. Eastern when we updated this sniper scope, guess which stock was number one? Our good old friend CPSL. All it took was 12 minutes later for the stock snipers to press the trigger of the sniper and snipe CPSL at that .02 spot. So let's dive into the trade and let's go over how we were able to make that 25 percent in 30 minutes whoa wow i'm actually in the trade we got cpsl above me and if it keeps making us money i'll hang out here all day now before i start up the tape i just want to point out to you guys that the multi-month breakout was 199 so when it hit that 0.02 spot earlier in the day it already broke out and that's why we really loved it now the stock was only up eight percent at the time so not really a big mover yet but we knew that if it could potentially pass that two spot again it could potentially run and that's exactly what happened we have that daily support that it created all day that was at one nine buying it at two and selling it at one nine that's only risking about five percent when we're looking for 15 percent or more on the stock so with the one nine risk and the two cent multi-month breakout up ahead we just wanted to see some buyers come in and we were going to join the party and that's exactly what we did right when it comes up to that 0.02 spot starting to break out and smack that using one nine risk and looking for 15 percent more on our money instantly the breakout got the push we got a nice little cushion of five percent and boom we get a little more than five percent out of nowhere so past two one to two one five so nice little more of a cushion that we got here but i want you guys to pick up on the time and sales in this check out what's coming in on the bid and the ask we got big buyers coming out of the bid and not as much big sellers coming in the ass. So we really do like the price action coming in here. And now we got a push. We're starting to push to that 2-2 area, giving us now a 10% cushion. Very, very nice already. 10% in 10 minutes. So we like that. We're up almost 400 bucks there in the first 10 minutes of being in this trade, exactly where you wanna be. And as the bids start to stack up and the ass starts to disappear, we're getting above 2-2. Very, very nice. Now on the long-term chart, we see that that there is some sort of resistance up ahead at 245. So that's a key spot that we realize it could possibly get rejected at if it gets there because it did happen in the past. So with the 245 ahead in range and the nice cushion we already have with 10% plus, we decide let's try to put a sell limit a little high and set ourselves up for reward if this thing does decide to push past our 15% very quickly. And boom! we get a nice trickle past high a day again. So it settles there at that 2-2, two, 2-2-7 two, 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 spot, and then it pushes up to 2-3. And at that point, that's the 15% goal. We are up 15% in 15 minutes. Setting the limit high, putting it around that 2-5 area, and telling ourselves, let's not get greedy. If resistance does come and we see some sellers, we're gonna lower that and just get out of this thing because we got now 20%. 20% in 20 minutes. And as we start to push past that 2-4 spot, it's a beauty. We got exactly what we wanted. We are gonna start to lower that sell limit down. And that's what we did here. We put ourselves at a limit at 243. Because remember, like we said earlier, 245 was a key resistance spot that we saw. So we decided to lower the limit just below that and try to get filled. And right here, it comes right up to our limit hitting us and the first sell unfortunately only taking 60,000 and when we get a little dip we hold two three beautiful hold and we get the curl up right back to our spot of 243 and back to that 245 resistance spot where we were able to take that back making 20 percent plus $850 plus in only 30 minutes so here it is 
you got yourself an official profit chart. If you don't know, profit.ly, you can check all of our trades, our wins and losses. But CPSL, the multi-month breakout, made us 20 plus percent and $850 plus in 30 minutes there. Where else are you finding that? I don't know. Check out the sniper scope because this stuff happens almost every day. So big shout out to all the snipers in the chat room, tagging CPSL bag with us. And if you're a patient, bam, you got rewarded with it. But we will take the $850 and 20% plus any day. If you want to be tagging the bags with us, we would love to have you on the team. You could be doing this just like us. Make sure to check us out on our website, www.thestocksnipers.com. Hope to see you in the chat. Hope to see you tagging bags just like this with us next time. I'll be back here with another trade review. Shout out CPSL. Much love. Stock Sniper Mike, out.